So I hung out with Eric and Jess today, and we just wandered about the town. And first we went to go get some tacos, or I should say, rather, I got some tacos. And they were pretty cheap and pretty uh, flavorful. And we stopped by the square. I took a couple pictures, and it was absolutely beautiful during the daytime with the fountains running and people walking about. Uh, it was a really good time. And we wandered about to this kind of um, coliseum, this, they call it the Rotunda. And it was just, it looks like a replica or something of the one in Rome, maybe. <laughs> and then we, uh, the cathedral was right next to it, decided to pop inside just to see what's going on. There was some crazy um, little uh, stat, like a little girl in there. She was lying in this little glass class uh, display and I think the story later was that they believe that youth is preserved or something and so they they wanted to show this girl inside that glass cage for some reason I, I have to find the whole story here um, a lot of beautiful glass panes in there very detailed very colorful and we stopped by the markets afterwards to get some ice cream and just to buy some uh, various goods to eat at the hostel. Um, we were trying to head to the bar at 2, but then we found out that their rooftop doesn't open till 6. It's more of a evening thing for them, so we wandered around even further uh, trying to find some churros and some other goods, whatever we could find around the city. I find that's most, most what I like to do around a new town. Anyways, uh, just wandering around, getting lost, finding cool things. Um, probably because I have more time than most. And we got back at 6, got some cocktails. They were only, I think mine was only, yeah, 3 bucks for the mojito. So I got like a couple, and uh, we tried another one, the Sailor's Navy, which is really good too. Afterwards, uh, there was a bar, another bar down the street, so we decided to hop to that one. Um, we got Mode Modelo Especial for like 15 pesos. That works out to be like a dollar, a dollar a beer, and it was... It was really good too. Um, did some night walking, evening walking, and see the square again. Um, beautiful yet again. Uh, the, the lights were on and the fountains, I believe, were off. But uh, good experience overall. People were still wandering around. Re felt relatively safe. Uh, there were police riding around on their bicycles. weren't and weren't any uh, shady characters. There were clowns. <laughs> um, not that that's too shady and people selling these balloons that you can uh, flip up and they kind of slowly uh, fall down from the air and then those uh, kind of uh, light, lit up uh, propeller things that kind of come down slowly so they make a nice uh, view inside a big square like that. Overall, a really good day. Um, Eric, uh, sorry he missed out. He had to go see a friend and uh, we had a good time at Pinta Negra. We'll definitely come back. It has some uh, avocado in it, it's creamy. Oh, avocado. Um, oh, yeah, it's like guacamole or something. It's so I like this one. It's spicy, but it's good. I don't even know what it's made out of. Maybe it's like a little You guys want to say hello? Hello. Ah, uh, darling. Am I going on YouTube? You're going on YouTube. That's it. Okay. Four tacos for 34 pesos. Yo, hi. Like just sitting down with your friends and just drinking or something. So you can have maybe a white wine or are you more of a red wine person? What's your style? I used to be a white wine person, but now I'm more of a red wine. There's a really good mix over in the States. Um, I forgot what the three mixes were, but the wine is literally called Menage a Trois. And it's really smooth red. It just goes down like water, I swear. <laughs> Sounds like Sienna. It does the exact same. Love it. It's crazy. I don't know much about Mexican history. I got a book to start listening to it.
Did you say you had needed your heart checked? <laughs> Turn on. I think it's Suarez. Something somewhere. I want to say 12 something. Doesn't open till two, remember? Oh yeah. So we have another hour. It's only one right now. We got to Pinta Negra, but they're not opening the rooftop bar until 6 p.m. So we might have to come back later or something. Uh, right now, I'm not sure where we're gonna go. Maybe go to another bar or go to the Central Park people watch, get a brew or two, something like that. I'm not quite sure yet. This is a rooftop bar in Negro. We came back exactly at 6 on the dot because we're that good. And Jess is going to choose the... She doesn't know yet. I'll probably have a gin. Let's give her five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Final answer? Arjita con alcohol? Sounds good. But I mean, if you don't step on them or if you don't come across them and leave them alone, I feel it would be okay. I've camped so many times that um, it, was, it wasn't bad. I came across snakes before, but I just leave them alone. They don't bother you, you don't bother them. They don't go looking for you and bite you. <laughs> That's not how they are. Exactly. I had some mojitos and uh, I had a Sailor Navy, which is pretty good. What did you think of the fresh... Is it fresh? No. Piñajito on alcohol. Oh, that was amazing. It's like a deadly curse. A dirty what? A deadly curse. A deadly curse. Straight from the source. Deadly curse. You think it's cordial next thing you know?